Friends, the Holiday 2024 Makeup Collections are here. And some of those collections, they have already launched, like the Hourglass Face Palettes, which I have already reviewed, done a TikTok and Instagram reel with them. I mean, I have showed them in multiple ways, like even I think I upload shorts on my YouTube channel too of each individual palette. And then I have used them on the eyes, etc. I'm like, great, great palettes. Also, Hourglass has collaborated with Barney's and they are having even a pop-up in New York with different palettes. I know, you heard me right, with different palettes. I don't know if they are gonna come to Hourglass website or if we're gonna see them in other retailers, but whatever I'm able to find, I will be linking on the description box below and I will be updating that description box to another holiday collection that just launched is Dior's Backstage Holiday Collection and this is what I'm wearing today. I'm sure by the time that I'm uploading this video, you should have seen, if you follow me here, the review about this palette, this new glow face palette. Long time that we have not seen Dior coming out with a face palette, but I would highly suggest to go and check my review. That way you can see all the details on this collection. There's also a lip maximizer. It is petite and concise. That's always the way that Dior starts because it doesn't end <laughs> for sure. I mean, we're yet to see Dior's advent calendar that usually is massive and beautiful and so many other like gift sets from Dior. I mean, there's a lot to come. I'm talking about a lot to come, this. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. This is the main Dior holiday collection. And this year, they are coming with a limited edition, but gorgeous golden packaging. Finally, I love gold. <laughs> I love gold. And when I saw this, I'm all like, yes, please give it to me. I know it's going to be fingerprint central, but who cares? <laughs> I like it all. Mostly that gorgeous luminizer on that the embossing my goodness me it's the grand ball collection i mean this is grand ball it looks like if you're looking to a ceiling of a cathedral and you see this gorgeous glass oh just like that like like a grand ball wow 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 okay let's talk about the eyeshadow queens we have images with actual swatches and not really you know the marketing material so you can see the shades a little bit better 643 is the lightest of all and i don't know the swatches are very like barely see it <laughs> there i think they needed to be swatched just a tiny bit more unless this is the payoff that we are getting hopefully not um so 643 is called golden masquerade and 863 swag the ball that one is the one that i'm more interested in because it's just it's a little bit more deeper it's a little bit more intense a little bit more cool tone some of these eyeshadows in both palettes they do have a little bit of lavender into it and i do love lavender and we have seen lavender throughout the year from various collections whether we have seen blushes that are not really blushes <laughs> highlighters eyeshadows i mean we we have seen a little bit of everything they are going to have also some lipsticks that they are i mean surely repromotes all of these shades we have seen them over and over again like 999 i mean yeah we have seen it so many times <laughs> so so many times so this is not a surprise for me the only variant here is that this come in the golden case which is super pretty if anything, the shade 374 is the one that I will be more tempted to get just because it's something that I can use throughout the year, spring, summertime really well, or 999, but do I need another one? No, my collection is just like, oh, there's so much into it, but the embossing is gorgeous. And then they are coming back with a Rouge Forever Liquid Sequin Limited Edition lipsticks. If you do not remember, but last year it was all like the craze about these liquid lipsticks that you apply them and then you let them set a little and then you like wrap your lips in between and then you see them all these sequins like shining like magic well they were so popular that now we're having a ton of them <laughs> i don't know if all of them have the sequins but it seems like i mean like you can see on the tube that 
yeah like at least four of them they have the sequins and the other ones not so i mean from the swatches 100 which is um a typical i think it's nude look from dior 999 the red one too they seem I mean that 100 seems to have the sequins 323 353 843 and perhaps 893 obviously these are arm swatches and not lip swatches because if they were on the lips and you will like wrap you know your lips like you know like just squeeze them both together they then the sequins will show but I am interested about these ones because last year it's not that I miss the lunch is that I skip not the entire lunch but I skip in a specific the sequin lipsticks because I thought oh I don't want to get her mess but after seeing that so much I felt like oh my gosh I should have had about at least one but now that they are coming and even in that beautiful golden case I want it I, at least I want one two perhaps three I don't know or per no not all of them not all of them I need to be more conscious about what I'm getting but anywho then we have the lip shines too two shades the two shades are very pretty I mean 324 seems something that we have seen time and time again I love it because it looks a little bit more corally tone so if you are going to go during the holidays to I don't know a vacation to a tropical area this could be you know a good lipstick to have and 704 is a little bit more deeper more fall i think fun in general so i mean i may grab one or two i'm not decided yet and i would love to hear from you too leave in the comment section which collection you are the most excited for and which products from that collection if you will be picking up and most important too if you want to see any reviews because these collections are just so big and they are usually more expensive than buying the entire collection i mean i make a stretch friends you know that i have over 1000 videos here on my channel i try to review every pretty much everything from the luxury world but it becomes very very expensive and those lip shines they come in cases like this one this was from 2022 and i love this golden case so you're going to be able to pick up separate the purchase of those kind of cases that have the gold and you know they, they are just like so pretty and different and just unique and again limited edition but you can interchange them if you have other lip shines from the off anywho now they have two lip liners in 656 and 796 very typical colors and i think they will go really well with the lip shines actually because one is more into the burgundy tone and one has a deeper coral undertone to it so those look good and is that it from the collection i mean oh the nail polishes the gold is so pretty and then the red one it's like a muted red very interesting on the side of red that they have chosen but i think both of them are very wearable i mean in general i think the collection is really well done now within these same kind of like golden tones they have this very much i even commented on one of the posts is like because we always see the same palette every single year now these make of excellent gifts if you know someone like for example i have so much makeup and it's there's nothing to brag about it's just the nature of you know my channel what i do here you know touch basis of everything beauty fashion and whatnot that that's why i have so much makeup but if you know you know a regular person that doesn't have a ton of makeup and they just you know really use certain things like for example i'm thinking to buy the one that is just purely eyeshadows not the one that have the lipsticks for someone that i know and i know she only have I, I think just one or two eyeshadow palettes i don't think she needs another one but i think it will be a really lovely gift for her during the holiday season and the shades are shades that i see her wearing a lot does it make sense so this pick of excellent gift but particularly me is like seeing these repeated shades is like yeah no it's kind of it's boring on my end but i see the value of them and this is the same thing with most holiday collections they are truly just wanting for say new clients to try their formulation so obviously you know they may bring something out in general any brand they will bring something out that is completely new and 
wow, this is incredible, right? Or they will just go with something that, okay, it's they are re-promoting something here and there. Now, one that got me super excited is the Prada Holiday Collection. Burgundy is so big, so big this year, like no idea how big it is. And I think Prada on this eyeshadow palette did incredible. It also has a limited edition packaging. It's nothing out of the world, but you know, it's just, it's a little bit different than their other eyeshadow palettes. Now, the only thing with this eyeshadow palette is every, well, three shades out of the four shades here are all metallic and you just have one matte shade to work with. I mean, definitely you can use your bronzer if you want, you know, like something different or just grab another matte eyeshadow. Um, I like it. I actually like it and I'm very excited. I mean, like that pink shade is calling my name completely. I, I think this is gonna be fun. And it's a really good way to incorporate that burgundy if you are not using, say, in your clothing or you're just using an accent. That accent can be either a lipstick or the eyeshadows. I'm talking about lipsticks. There are gonna be also three well, two lipsticks in a limited edition case from Prada. I mean, the typical one that is more kind of like your pillow talk, kind of dusty rose kind of shade, and then one that is not truly really burgundy, which I wish they could have done a true burgundy tone, but it's kind of that muted reddish tone. And then <laughs> the lip balm that, you know, I don't like at all and whatsoever. Um, I heard a lot of people that they are just like me, that they do not like this lip balm. There's a, a ton of other people that really like this lip balm. I mean, whatever, you know, I, I still have it in my collection. I haven't even decluttered it or done anything about it, but I mean, I, I'm not over excited about these lipsticks. The lipsticks from Prada though, they are super comfortable and one of the best lipstick formulations out there. In fact, if you haven't watched the best lipsticks in the world by formula, I have that video up, I uploaded it like one month or two months ago, something like that, and Prada appears there. I mean, they are an excellent, excellent formulation. They are refillable too. I mean, there are so many pluses to it, but yeah, I'm not like, wow, these lipsticks make me like, ooh. If anything, perhaps I will get the lighter tone just because I know that I will get the most use out of it and I think it will not overpower or overtake on the eyeshadow either. And here we have it, Shante Guys Holiday 2024 collection. Just got, oh, this, this just released. So it's available right now. Oh my goodness. Again, I will be linking everything on the description box or if you're on Instagram, you may see it already. Here we have three, eyeshadow duos do you see that burgundy it's not like deep deep burgundy but it has that kind of cranberry tones so in i really love that i mean two simple eyeshadows a matte that you can blur and then you have that topper shade or metallic shade i mean i i don't know if it's a metallic shade or not that you could just dab it in and just create more of like a monochromatic kind of look but with more like a tone to it a little bit of a different finish just giving dimension i think this is very smart of them the packaging i'm just like oh, this is just so gorgeous i mean gold i mean <laughs> then they have this glorious taupey tone i mean like this looks so beautiful so intense i mean the eyeshadows from shante kai oh, i just saw the cover flowers and balls this looks so luxurious well done Shantikai. well well done okay and that third duo it's more like on the brown tones all the three of them my goodness me these are just like glorious glorious wow so stunning so so stunning and with this collection there are also two of the lip crystals which it's a great formula. It feels a little bit greedy upon putting them on, but then it doesn't feel like anything bothersome. And it does give that glittery kind of effect on the lips, which is just, you know, it's part of the holiday season. Everything that shines, the glitters, the metallic shades and whatnot. So there's Pink Topaz, which is a dazzling rose, and Aventurine Glittering Raspberry. Now they look close. No, they are actually different because I have, the ones from previous years yeah one looks more nude and the other one looks a little bit more cranberry okay 
All right. See, Shantekai, not too many products, but done right. So right. I'm I'm so for it. I'm so for it. Next, should we talk about spring? <laughs> we just saw some sneak peeks of Chanel's spring collection. Now, I have seen these eyeshadow quads like months ago. And honestly, I thought they were going to be for the holiday collection. I wouldn't be upset if these ends up being the holiday collection because it will not be as traditional as it used to be before. It has the camellia on them. Both of them are honestly lovely, perhaps. And you see, do you see kind of like that they are a little bit alike to the Dior palettes for the holiday season? Playing with those taupey tones, those muted pink tones. Do you see that there's some resemble in there? One of the eyeshadows looks like he's leaning not really gold, but it has a little bit of a golden trace and the other one has more silver in it. Do you see what I mean? I mean, it says here that it's a spring, but I heard before that it was gonna be the holiday collection and we really haven't seen any like holiday collection sneak peeks not that I'm aware of, or perhaps I am, I don't know. <laughs> I shouldn't say anything, right? But anywho, if anything, we will see a holiday collection from Chanel. And I'm sure we will see also the, the beige collection for the winter time, as we saw last year. I'm sure we're going to be seeing that. So what are your thoughts? Are you interested about these eyeshadows? I mean, this is contrasting quite a bit from the latest collection from Chanel, which I have already reviewed. This is the fall collection. It's very, I mean, let's call it enigmatic. They wanted to go for the obscure, but if we just take all of that aside, their quote unquote inspiration, I think it's more just, more than inspiration, it's just a marketing outlet. Because, I mean, if we see it with perspective, it does have the tones of autumn, you know, the purples, the warm tones. I mean, those are autumn shades, although it's really strange to see Chanel coming out with these tones that are very, like when you put them all together, they really look Halloween, -y, right? But anywho, that's that. <laughs> that's that. So let me know, are you curious about this collection from Chanel? Do you think it's truly 2025 20, springtime or you think it's part of the holiday collection? Let's just chat about it. Now, Gerlan, uh, this is their holiday collection. I really love the packaging. I think it's different, but the color story searches, I mean, like the eyeshadow palette. I think it's, I think they already had the same eyeshadow palette from their permanent line, don't they? No, it says that it's a limited edition, but it's very pink and very red. You remember back on the days with Chanel <laughs> that we were seeing just all these burgundies, pinks and reds. This is what it feels like here. And it's just one eyeshadow palette. There's no more than that. So I don't think, I mean, like you can repurpose these shades if you want blushes, but for that, they should have had to come out, you know, like with two blush tones and two different eyeshadow palettes. I mean, something more fun. The meteorites, they, the case is beautiful too, but the meteorites, again, they are the same. I, I think it's, the collection looks pretty. I mean, like I, for example, I like very much the cases for the lipsticks. They will not work the new cases with older lipsticks. I will have to pick up one of these lipsticks or any. I will do so like the nude one is calling my name the red one too is gorgeous yeah i don't know are you interested in anything of these now the bronzer it's a repeated shade please tell me it's not a repeated shade it says limited edition will the color be limited edition because if that's the case then i may pick it up i'm so and so with this Kaplan collection because although the packaging looks very pretty it's in collaboration with a parisian jewelry designer I don't want to mispronounce the name, Shrook, maybe. Um, so the packaging is lovely, okay? But I don't know, inside it's kind of like not everything. I, they are missing, they are missing out like the the meteorites. The Why we have to have a ton of these little tin containers with the same balls inside, okay? <laughs> the same little pearl balls, <laughs> right? Why? why we have to have that and why we have to have these same bronzers that they are just over sprayed with gold that as soon as you 
brush goes on top of it, it just goes away. What about the outer case? Why the outer case is nothing special as they used to have in the past. In the past, they used to have like these wooden, just beautiful cases. I mean, I think it's just, it's there, but it's not fully there. Let me know if you're interested about anything from this collection. I mean, in, in honest truth, just, just really tell me. Tell me, please. Let's talk about Clé de Peau. Okay, I love Clé de Peau. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. But it seems like year after year, we're seeing the same eyeshadow palette. We're seeing the same highlighters, that they are these frosted lavender blue tones. I know it's very typical for the season, but on these beautiful cases, which by the way, they are refillable. So if you buy them, you can always, you know, like refill it with something different, but I don't want to be wasteful on the actual product. I want to have the beautiful case, but also a beautiful tone that will work for my skin tone. And I'm seeing the same thing that is going on with Carlan. I mean, the eyeshadow the same. Yeah, it's just, it's beautiful. The artwork outside is gorgeous. Don't get me wrong. If you don't have, this is the thing, perhaps it's makeup fatigue that I'm going through, but not many things are getting me like giddy excited. It's like, ah, I want to have it all. <laughs> you know, it's kind of like, oh yes, they look pretty, the case, but the interior is not really for me. That's where I'm falling at. You know, I know these colors of highlighters, they will not work for me. I do have a very similar eyeshadow quad from Clé de Peau. And I know it's really pretty, but that's pretty much it. The formula though, don't get me wrong, the formulation, it's stunning, but yeah, that's that's what I feel with Clé de Peau right now. Love them, absolutely love them, but I, I wish they would do a little bit more on the holiday collection, a little bit more inclusivity, a little bit more shades, aside obviously to the stunning packaging that they have. Um, yeah, that's that's that. And then let's see, Celine, they have lunch. This is not holiday, but finally we are seeing a sneak peeks of their collection. Gorgeous blushes, the nail polish in red, so classic. Look at this packaging. I mean, like the emblem of Celine, a setting powder that looks just phenomenal too. I don't know the details of the setting powders, though. What is the finish? But I think the entire line like how it's made, like it looks luxurious, is what I was expecting from selling. Totally in love. I cannot wait to try it. Um, to me, I, I am hoping that Celine will do the same thing as Hermes. You see, Hermes, they came out slowly with different items, and in fact, they are adding new lip liners, eyeliners too, and if there's any brand that does color really well, is Hermes. They do color, and color combinations that are stunning, just unbelievable. So it, I hope that Celine will follow a little bit of that because that will make them a, a lot stronger. So anywho, going back to Hermes, also there's a liquid eyeliner too. I'm interested on all these products, not all the shades, but all the products from the lip liners, the eyeliners, the liquid eyeliner too. I mean, it's just a matter to pick and choose a few of them and I'm gonna try them to see the formulas and whatnot and I mean, whatever, right? <laughs> if we're talking about the quota, you know, I think like even with the lipstick adding up to, you know, to meet that, <laughs> you know, threshold to, to get your quota back, hopefully one day really soon, right? But <laughs> anywho, I'm very, very excited about this new release from Hermes. From YSL, I have touched base about this eyeshadow quad in a previous video. It is a golden eyeshadow quad, the only one. It looks super stunning. It kind of reminds me a little bit to Tone for Suspicion, which if you know, it is one of my favorite, if not my favorite palette of all times. So yes, I'm planning to pick it up. And it's not the same one as the gold one that I reviewed a couple months ago either. So that's that, my friends. 
I think that's what I wanted to cover on this beauty news. Let me know which holiday collections you are super excited. Let's continue that conversation in the comment section down below while you're at it. And if you haven't done so yet, well, it is the time. Subscribe to my channel. Make sure you ring that post notification so you don't miss on any of my uploads. If you're on Instagram and TikTok, please come and follow me there. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, share your family and friends. And if you're not done watching my content, well, guess what? I will be leaving a couple other videos at the end of the screen that I'm sure you're gonna love. Until the next time, I hope you have a beautiful, wonderful day. Bye-bye.